We never lose. How about that? We never lose. Four wins in a row. Lemington has come to pass. Nope. I'm thinking. Sorry, YouTube. I'm thinking, okay? At some point, we got it. I, I honestly think that Tainted Eden is kind of a miserable character, but at some point, you got to do it. I have indeed seen r slash the pack. MF. It's, it's got that, like, the share zone energy, right? That's the one I'm thinking of. Yes, okay, thank you. See, I, I'm, I'm familiar, man. I'm just workshopping these jokes for my stand-up routine. Alright, good reroll. Kroger brand, the share zone. I don't really know what Kroger is. It's like a pharmacy, but like most pharmacies, it's also a Walmart. NFL players used to not do it for a few days before games, so they'd be all horned up and aggressive on game day. Yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, um, I'd love to see, like, some empirical data on, on whether or not it actually works. I don't, I'm not going to take the word of just NFL players on it, um, some of whom are Rhodes Scholars, admittedly, like one or two of them, uh, but many of whom are not scientists. They are professional athletes. There are some, some people are bringing up some subreddits I've never heard of, like r slash foreskin restoration. That's one I have not been to, um, but you have piqued my interest. <laughs> I'll bring that up. Me, me and Corey will, will, will go there later together. It's my homepage. I love Reddit, man. It's, it's so hilarious to me. Like, not even in a, like a, a way that I like look down on it. It's just like... It's, it's such a funny website that it's like, there's, I think it's, you, you could do the Gru meme, right? Like, come on, man. Um, you know, there's a, there's a blossoming community for every single possible hobby. And then there's a blossoming community for every single possible hobby. It's like, you can learn a lot about like how to make you know, teak furniture, or alternatively, you could, like... Did we just get struck by lightning? <laughs> what the heck's going on? Anyone else see a flash of light dart across my face very quickly there? Maybe a, a, a mirrored truck just drove by or something, I don't know. Yeah, dude, I, that's, you're absolutely right, I'm inside the lightning bolt right now. <laughs> Anyway, it's like a great place to learn how to make teak furniture or like, you know, custom build your own guitar pedals or something like that. But also you could be like, you know, accidentally get like radicalized into some kind of uh, terrible fringe group or something like that. It's like, I, I blame fiat currency for all my problems. And you're like, dude, just go to r slash teak painting, okay? I'm telling you. That's the other thing. The NFL players, when they're engaging in abstinence, they're not like, um... I'm pretty sure they're not posting on r slash nofap about like, Oh, I'm gonna get 12 sacks tomorrow, because I can... The superpowers are setting in. I'm pretty sure they're like, living their lives and like, you know, pursuing hobbies and stuff like that. Not, not just posting. If they're posting, that's sad, man. I would rather be bad at football, but be fulfilled and get some release, I think. <laughs> How dare they? Okay, there we go. I do, I, like... I like to go there... Dude, I get a great uh, trinket, I didn't realize. I like to go to that subreddit, um... About every November 23rd, just to see the kind of things that people are saying. 
People were like, I was at Starbucks today, dude. The barista could totally pick up on the fact that I haven't released lately. One, it, it felt like I had social superpowers. You can go find these posts for yourself. Hold on, alt path? Come on, man. alt path? No, thank you. Okay, bro, I've never touched myself. I have a three foot vertical, so suck it. <laughs> I will admit, you know, maybe that's the reason I was never good at basketball, man. No, it's probably the fact that I'm 5'10 on a good day. I wish cam placement would allow us to see the trinket. And I wish that um, I had a toilet made of solid gold, baby, but some things just aren't in the cards. The day before uh, retirement, I will I will find the proper placement for uh, my camera, and I will fix the HUD scaling, and then you will never see me again. Tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. Hold on. How do we fix this? <laughs> what about a green screen? No, honestly, like I mean, I don't, I don't hate on the green screen, um, but I feel like uh, I actually like the aesthetic of the room behind me instead. Not, not just to show off my incredible board game collection, so that you know that I'm a real gamer. Um, but I also think it looks better with the frame around it and stuff like that. Uh, with, like when we get alerts and, and, and so on, such as so many US Americans don't have maps. But yeah, I don't think... Uh, I'm not a green screen guy. Yeah, nice, nice white wall and acoustic foam. Thank you. Oh, would it be more to your liking if I bought the same... Uh, Lighting setup is 99% of streamers and got like LEDs with my with my Twitch name on them so that you knew who you were watching without having to look at your address bar. NL, NL, but and then neon lights that say like bald. Make it look like I'm inside of the the intercourse pod on some kind of sci-fi rocket ship. No problem, I'll just put my kids' college fund into RGB lighting. So you don't forget who you're watching as I get 0.22 KDR in Apex Legends. Owns. Boom. Roasted. Who's next? <laughs> that run this morning was amazing. Dude, I honestly, like, the YouTube runs in Isaac are popping off. You laugh, but the RGB would probably increase viewership. Source, dude, just trust me. We've been, like, I don't know, YouTube's just been... Like, having the ability to focus on, uh, on Isaac runs and not worry... Let's go! <laughs> Quite as much about banter has, uh... I mean, there's a place for both. Banter's not going anywhere, but some of these characters, you know, they require a, a better class, uh... A focus. I feel like we should try to... Because uh, it doesn't matter what items we pick up. Let's try to pick up Angel Rooms. So that maybe we could fight Mega Satan. There was no character on the spotlight. Am I... Am I losing it? That was weird. Yeah, we're going to try to do Mega Satan on this one. For me, um, like, in terms of challenges, I need to work on phrasing criticism in such a way that it is, doesn't come across as negative. It's just like, it, I think it's because I watched so much Matthew Perry humor growing up. Like, could I be any more sarcastic? Um, but I feel like... Challenges are not as fun as um, 
the base game most of the time. And the, challenge, the challenges that tend to be the most fun are ones that also get beaten pretty easily. Um, so for me personally, the challenges are like the things that I, I leave till the end. I leave... I, without being too uh, negative about this, the challenges are things that I look to as like uh, something to knock out. You know? Like I, I look to those almost as a chore on the to-do list. Some of them are great. Some of them are, uh, are you know, one-trick ponies. And then the other ones are like, uh, you know, I, I, I have no memory of them, essentially. So I, I just, uh, I, I prefer, I, I see them as an obstacle to get through on the way to get back to the base game, which is, you know, what I have a great deal of affection for. It's nice to break it up, but it's also kind of like, it's a weird thing to say because the game is already like, you know, it, it's mixed up just by virtue of the, the way that the game works, right? By virtue of the mechanics and, you know, every run being a little bit different. Oh, okay. Don't freeze him in that position because he just endlessly makes bullets. Great. Good to know. I think we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaac's heart, baby. Yeah, Isaac's heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 hold on. Let's... We're gonna get hit. We don't have our... We don't have the trinket anymore that lets us go into the curse room for free. We're gonna get hit and lose our deal with the angel chance. So I think we should... Oh, Isaac's heart lets you get the free curse room. You're absolutely right. Um, I, I respect this, though. Because I wanted to get um, a spirit heart to protect our deal with the angel chance. Now, hold on. Nine lives is bad, right? Curse rooms don't remove devil chances and repentance. No, I know. I mean, like, I just don't want to have Isaac's heart as our hitbox because we're going to take damage on the next floor as a result of it. Is bad. You keep lives. It's horrible. It's good. You're going to reroll it. It will reroll, you'll lose your HP and your lives. Okay, that was the rationale I'm looking for. Thank you, thank you. I guess we might as well open this then. I don't think we take it. Your your ad hominem attacks don't uh they don't affect me. Oh baby. Now I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say NL, go reroll nine lives. When we walk into the curse room, we will not be able to reroll nine lives because we'll lose the D6 on the way in. Oop. So we got nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, if you want the NL drip in Knockout City, you can absolutely still get it. You just type exclamation point KO City. I mean, that, that code should work as long as the game is uh, is on the marketplace. You see, you see everything the light touches? That's the size of our kingdom. What was the oldest kid's name in Three Ninjas? I'm gonna be straight up with you. I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever seen... Uh, sorry, it's KO Cosmetics, not KO City. I apologize. I don't know if I've ever seen the movie Three Ninjas. My domain is really that mid-1990s to mid-2000s. You know, movies that are from the, the early 1990s, I was a little bit on the uh, on the younger side. I, I can't guarantee that I, I ever saw them. What the heck? We don't care. We don't care. Keep moving. Plus, that was back in the era, you know. Canada was getting stuff uh, a little later than the United States, I think. <laughs> Sometimes an awesome TV show would come out in America. You'd have to wait like six years until it aired in Canada. And you'd be like, oh, finally. I'm so excited. Wheel of Fortune premieres tonight. Oh, there you go. Three ninjas. Uh, I'd like to solve the puzzle, Pat. What is three ninjas outside Ebbing, Missouri? Da -da 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 -da. 
Yo, what about Francis McDormand, though? Honest, like, well-respected. But she may also be one of the most underappreciated actresses. Uh, at least by the masses. Like, I think if you look at her filmography, almost everything that she's done has been freaking gangbusters, man. She's done like 17 Coen Brothers movies. She has three Best Actress Awards. Three Oscars or th or three? Because like we don't we don't count the SAG After Awards here, you know. Or MTV Teen Cho the MTV Teen Choice Award for Best Kiss goes to Frances McDormand and Richard Jenkins from Burn After Reading. She has three Oscars. That's crazy, man. Why are you guys underrating her so hard? You gotta put some respect on her name. Burn After Reading is is a great movie. I, I'm it's one of those movies I'm very thankful. I uh, I saw in theaters before I knew anything about it, except that it was a Coen Brothers movie. Richard Jenkins, amazing actor. Brad Pitt's incredible. So many good lines. You think that's a Schwinn? I'm not here as a representative of hard bodies. Osborne Cox. Are you concerned about the security of your shit? When, oh, when George Clooney, uh, when he's been working in his, uh, his workshop for, uh, like, the whole movie, and they show all those montages of him, like, welding stuff, and then he reveals that it's, like, a, a sex chair. It's, there's some amazing moments in that movie, dude. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna start a new, new guy just dropped. Um, guy who says everything that he likes is underrated to make himself feel superior, even if it's rated actually pretty properly. Underrated movie, man. Burn After Reading, highly underrated. Beatles, like, obviously they're, like, overrated, but at the same time, they're not respected enough. In many ways, they're kind of, like, one of the most underrated bands ever. NL, underrated streamer, yeah. As new Twitch Atlas just dropped, by the way, which tells you, like, what streamers you're, you share the most audience with on, uh, on Twitch. It's good. I guess I shouldn't get attached to it, but it's good. I forgot who I was next to, though. No, it wasn't... It wasn't Germa. It was like, um... I think I always end up being close to Ludwig on those. And, uh... I think I, I wasn't too far outside of, like... Because there's, like, little islands, like, color-coded islands on the Atlas. It's impressive, uh... Data modeling. Um... I, I, I end up fairly close to, like, the Hafu lobby bubble, I think, as well, a lot of the time. Oh, yeah, I was close to Maximilian Dude. Who I didn't even realize... Um... Is, like... Like, uh, I, I'm being careful about the way that I phrase this, because I, I mean no insult by this. But we occupy a very similar niche on on Twitch, I think. Which is having a young daughter uh, and being quite popular, but largely in, like, our own niche. And, like... I mean, I really think the dream on Twitch is to be popular, but simultaneously have nobody that doesn't watch you have ever heard of you. <laughs> like, there's a lot of streamers I've never watched in my life, but I know way too much about them because they're always embroiled in, like, some kind of live stream fail drama. Um, which, again, don't get me wrong, probably, like, works out lucratively for them. But, like... The dream, I think, is what you got on the, uh... What you got on this Twitch Atlas when I saw Maximilian Dude, where I was like... I could have used Eden's soul, man. Where I was like... And, and I'm in the same boat, I think. Where I'm like... 
I think, you know, he's very, very popular and successful, but simultaneously, he just, like, quietly, you know, stays in the lane doing his thing and, and doesn't have to deal with, like, Did you see? What are, you, what are your thoughts on this? Did you see? Did you see what they said on GTA 5 RP? After 11 hours of improv, did you see when he slipped up on GTA 5 RP? And said something that if you take it in the worst possible way could be construed as insulting. And then like rather than watch the clip, you just go, uh, you just ask chat to give you the uh, context. And they go, oh yeah, dude, he was flaming you hard. And you go, well, screw you, buddy. And then it's, you know, you get the idea. Mr. White. I like, I want to get hit, but I don't want to get hit. Tell me you want to get hit without telling me you don't want to get hit. Did you know, um... Uh, so you know how Apollo's Minecraft show uh, was called Barkitecture? Did you know that the Roku channel channel uh, stole that? And now there is an original Roku channel show called Barkitecture, which I'm pretty sure is just the late stage uh, HGTV poison working its way through the media uh, medium um, where people buy dog houses and then like renovate them and make incredible dog houses. I'm not trying, like I'm really not this guy. This is more Rob's thing. But I got to imagine like in the middle of a housing crisis, watching people have a $15,000 budget to renovate their doghouse, it's probably enough to turn anybody into the Joker. You're right. Okay, well, let's keep speaking on that then. I was kind of just giving it a moment. <laughs> just to see if I was going to end up on the right side of history. Okay, now, and again... We don't really talk about this stuff too much. Um, but I laughed at a couple of things related to this, okay? You see, the New York Post wrote a... They, they wrote a Bernie Sanders hit piece, dude, about his crazy hotel demands. A lot of people talking about, you know, is a king-size bed normal, is it not normal? In a hotel, it's, it's relatively normal, in my opinion. But the thing that was driving me crazy... This guy is asking for his hotel rooms to be uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit? Is this... Is he... Uh, was he born in Jotunheim? That's like... It's so cold. I am, you know, just on a hormonal level. I'm a sweaty guy. I'm bald. You know, I got body hair. Uh, I got folds where there probably shouldn't be folds. Things get sweaty, right? 60 would have me cutting glass all day. I wouldn't be able to sleep, I think. I, I, I just, I was more like, this guy needs a, I don't know. He needs like a new wardrobe or something at 60 degrees. It's scary, man. I'm like, he's, he's well preserved, I guess, but... But then, you know, it doesn't make any sense because there's that famous uh, photo of him at Biden's inauguration where he's got the, the mittens on and he's got the winter jacket on and stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, that's like t-shirt and shorts weather for you, Mr. Freeze. Like, oh, which is it? Are you cold or are you hot? I don't understand. Planetarium. Size down for a second until we get hit. Now I understand. Dude, I think he might be Mr. Freeze. I want to introduce a student debt freeze. There you go. We've had conservative Yoda. Now it's time for, for Mr. Freeze, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> to all mortgage lenders, I ask you, chill. Something could work. It could work. Hour energy. 
Anyway. Socialist Mr. Freeze. I don't know why I said Mr. Freeze like Harley Quinn would. You ever sleep with the window open? Nah. I don't, uh... I'm not a window open guy. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Don't get me wrong. But I would rather, like, let's say we're driving in a car. I would rather be hot than open the window. If I was, like, warm, uh, and I was like, can you turn on the AC? And they were like, no, but I can open the window. I would be like, that's fine. I'll just stay hot. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the sensation of the, um, yeah, I don't like the wind messing up my hair. I don't know how to explain it. I, you know what it is? It's, I'm, I'm not like super sensitive to noise, but I, I really, uh, I respect the sanctity of an environment where you can hear someone else talk. Like sometimes on the, on the sky train in Vancouver, like especially the old ones, uh, they sound like, like dying whales, right? And then people open the window uh, to get some air. And then when they go through the tunnels, which are, you know, obviously under... Let's go! They go through the tunnels that are obviously underground. Literally, just throughout the whole thing, you're just hearing like... Skrit, 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 and you're like having to shout. Um, just to understand what's happening, man. Let's, let's, I don't know. Let's take the negative. Plus, like, you know, I live in the city, it gets, like, a little noisy. It only takes, like, you know, it's not like we got people walking by and shouting, like, at all hours of the night, but it only takes, like, one guy going, like, ah, for you to be like, you know what, I think we'll just have the fan on tonight. I will say, when I was, uh, it's one guy. When I was a kid, I grew up like, uh, I don't know, maybe like three or four kilometers away from the, uh, the train tracks. First couple of days that I lived there, you get woken up by the whistles in the middle of the night. After like a, a week of living there, when you get used to it, I was like, dude, it's nice. It's kind of nice to hear the, the train whistles. It's like relaxing. Twitch Atlas is very interesting. You have more viewers in common with Bob Ross than you do with Cobalt. I I would like to posit that there's something sensible in there, which is that anybody that watches me or Cobalt has probably seen so much Isaac that when the streamer goes offline, they're like, I literally just want to watch anything else. Yeah, also Josh always hosts Bob Ross. Um, basically just like taking food out of my child's mouth. It's no big deal or anything. Like, I'm, I, I haven't brought it up to him. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, like a billion times, but still. You know, some people. <laughs> FFS, Josh. FFS. Everywhere. Where's the host, Josh? <laughs> The host should be, should be right here. Wait, where's the host, Josh? Owned. Um, plus two, plus two. Note to self. Disney Channel slash Nickelodeon jokes from the mid-2000s, plus two. Making fun of r slash gentleman boners. As of right now, the jury is still... Uh, they're they're deliberating. That was plus two as well. Let's go. In hindsight, they decided it was one of the most underrated jokes they'd ever heard. Oh, Cronsgrove, thank you. Much appreciated. I do I do respect the the banter that serves as the foundation of creativity. I do my best. Thank you. Thank you.
What the heck is this? <laughs> I still got my deal with the angel? What is this item? Jar of candles. Can you pay Josh his current salary so he can play Gardic? Oh, absolutely not. You've got to remember Josh is uh, an office worker approaching his mid-30s. Can't afford him. You know, this streaming, it's, uh, I think it's a young person's game, you know? That's why I'm looking to pivot to something a little bit more low impact, like um, roller derby. Something a little easier on the joints. Yeah, Josh likes working anyway. That's the thing. I, I got a lot of respect for... I mean, just... This is... Uh, uh, clip, clip, clip. Hashtag clip, clip, clip. Uh, Northern Lion says nice things about his friend. Clip, clip, clip. But I got a lot of respect for Josh. Like, you know, I, I always... come. I, I say this completely original quote all the time. Um... To thine own self be true. I believe I came up with it. Um, I am... And this is flattering myself. I'm pretty good at maintaining my own like intrinsic motivation. I'm uh, like a, I'm a self-starter. I'm self-directed. I think that fits in pretty well in a business like this where... You know, you, you basically only have to answer to yourself. And then uh, the Twitter mob. Uh... Josh tried it out for a bit in 2013 and was like, you know what? I don't think like doing this actually makes me happy. Like I find it um, not that intuitive to like, you know, have to get out of bed every morning and like force myself to do this. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't seem like it's a perfect fit. So he he kind of like bailed on it. Not, I, I say that as if it's a negative, but I, I mean it exclusively as a positive. Um, he was like, you know what, I don't think this is for me, and he kind of got out of it. And I honestly feel like a lot of streamers are kind of, like, that's a scary thing to do. There's a lot of streamers who I think probably are not super happy, like, being subjected to anonymous feedback every single day, and, and that, like, affects their quality of life, and, and maybe, you know, a career change would be something that, that could benefit them, but it's a scary thing to do to be like, oh yeah, we're just gonna like cut and run on this thing that I've dedicated some years of my life into, uh, and then, uh, you know, try a completely new venture with no guarantee that it's gonna succeed. So I, I give Josh a lot of credit for, for knowing that it maybe wasn't for him early. Dude, am I really gonna fight Hush here? <laughs> Uh, and then also for, for kind of getting out of it early. Like, for, for not being like, oh, maybe if I just do it for a decade, things will change. I guess we'll try. I think he made a good decision. For him, at least. Yeah, now he does it for his own enjoyment. Okay, what item would we want for a second? Brittle Bones. I wonder... Uh, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Wait, no, it's probably fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do we have shielded tears? Maybe not, maybe. We might still be fine. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm genuinely like, um... Like, this is actually an insult. I think I'm reasonably well suited to, like, normal work. But, like, I'm the exact kind of, like, faux narcissist that streaming was made for. I love to hear myself talk. And I have no problem, like, waking up, drinking two cups of coffee, and then being like, okay, let's, you know, do some streaming. But it's, it's definitely not for everybody. But I think it is for most people. I mean, like, it is... I, I say it all the time. It's like... it's Most of it is really easy. <laughs> to be honest.
You have a shield right now? Uh, I don't know if you're new here, uh, but Trinity Shield um, doesn't work. It's a joke toilet just for farts. It, yeah, it kind of works, which is actually worse than it just being broken. Because it'll give you confidence and then let you down. We'll just, we'll maintain our distance, also known as uh, Nature's Shield. You like the shield, right? Then let my wife eat the freaking receipt. You don't necessarily have to not get hit. We probably don't have the perfect hush, but if we could just do enough damage so that one catastrophic reroll or two leaves us in a position where we're still likely to get the kill, that would help out a lot. Every extra second that this goes on, I'm, I'm a happy man. Dude, by the way, I don't know, I think it's early June. There's like, Jeff Keighley's throwing another gaming event. I don't know what to call it, so I'm just gonna call it the, the Festival of Gamers. Um, and it allows um, for co-streaming. I don't know, like, some of it I think falls on the weekend. But the stuff that falls on weekdays, I would love to co-stream. That's like the best content on Twitch, is, is co-streaming like game awards shows and announcements. Especially announcements. I also have to say, like, I, I'm, I don't know why, you, you think that I'm a contrarian? But really, okay, put this on a t-shirt. You may think I'm a contrarian, but I just think everybody else is always wrong. But, like, I saw the news that, um, like, N Netflix is going to be a big part of the festival for gamers, apparently. Or at least they're going to announce, like, you know, some of the stuff that they're doing with Netflix Geeked to, to get into gaming. Um, I've been, like, kind of negative on Netflix's original programming recently. I feel like a lot of it in 2021 has been, like, not very good. And there's, there had, where's Tiger King Season 2, for example? Um... But, yeah, where, where's Dan Selena show season two? However, I definitely don't have as much pessimism about Netflix possibly getting involved in the gaming space as uh, a lot of people on Twitter seem to. You know, there's no guarantee that just because they have like a, you know, 400 million, or sorry, 400 billion dollar market cap that they're going to like, you know make it because i mean amazon has been struggling to oh there we go uh to make it and obviously like they're the biggest company on earth but uh i mean i don't i don't see a reason to be pessimistic about it there there is some irony i guess for me in that i'm sure that for a lot of people like uh you know they they look at that story of like oh it's isaac's heart again of like Blockbuster and Netflix and they're like wow the Blockbuster CEO was so stupid to not take up take them up on their offer to buy Netflix in like uh, You know 2003 for 75 bucks and a Little bit of candy popcorn But now like you know Netflix is like hey, we're gonna move into the gaming industry a little bit people are like I don't think so the dumbest idea I've ever heard you're gonna go bankrupt now the thing is they they could be right admittedly, but at the same time, that you could be wrong, which I don't think is being acknowledged. And as much as I thought that Bandersnatch kind of sucked, don't hit me. Uh, I think that it's a cool platform for like choose your own adventure stuff. I mean, I just I love like cinematic uh, adventure games to begin with, especially if you can like you know watch them with your your friends or family and then maybe uh make fun of them a little bit as well try out the new jenks game i don't know man like I, I feel like i've been trying to recapture like some glory from that like that studio but um dark nights with poe and monroe like Almost killed me. <laughs> Speaking of which, please don't kill me. A speed upgrade. 
How did I not get hit there? Pluto, Pluto returns on the dawn of the fifth day. Okay, we did it. Had we already done Hush, by the way? Because we did not... Oh, no, you don't get an unlock for everything. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, I suppose. No, now we're not doing Delirium. Now we're... Because we have the negative, we're going to go to the dark room and try to get some stuff unlocked on this post-it note. And then we'll still... Because we have the key piece, in theory, there should be a 50% chance to fight Delirium. Oh, great use of that. Um, a 50% chance to get to Delirium anyway. But honestly, like, just beating Satan, I think, would be, like, a pretty solid outcome for this run. Um, but obviously, we're going to try to push it a little further. Anyway, so I, I, I can't promise that we'll, you know, co-stream the whole thing. Because I think some of it is, like, uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific, which... It's really not, like, laziness. It's just, like... I mean, I'm already up at that time to begin with, but it would totally screw up our baby schedule, which is, like... Kind of a non-starter. But we'll see. I think I think the first day, which is probably, like, the meat and potatoes of the announcements, I think it starts at 11 a.m. anyway. Blood of the Marty? Wake up, baby. Netflix is making a, a Black Mirror mobile game. Where? Where? That's a good one. Blood of the Charter. How about that? You think about everything, don't you? <laughs> Whoa. What if your mom was a gotcha game? Dude, did you know I, I actually posted this in the um, in the suggestions uh, channel on our private resin Discord, not for uh, subscribers, but for for YouTubers and streamers. And I was like, how funny would it be if we played this? But just hear me out here. Did you know that there on Steam there is a free to play? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, TCG based on Fox animation properties. You know how, like, I mean, obviously Pocket Mortys is something that exists, but it's kind of similar to Pocket Mortys. Um, but it's like uh, Family Guy, American Dad, Bob's Burgers, and like one, and one other uh, game. And uh, they're constantly releasing new content for it. I thought it would be hilarious to play it on stream one day. I don't believe it has The Simpsons, unfortunately. I would love to get a Mythic Rare Disco Stew. Become the first pro player. Um, in response... To your Philip J. Fry. I play Stan from American Dad, augmented with weird potbelly alien token. And in response to the uh, instant trigger when he enters the battlefield, that allows Meg to get one extra loyalty point. I choose to use Meg's minus four ability to sap all of the morale tokens from your Brian commander. No, I'm stupid. Does it resolve? Mm, no, it doesn't resolve because I use Stewie Griffin's ultimate counter spell. Any spell at any time, then remove from battlefield. Press space, bro. Yeah, how about you press the space between your ears until your head explodes or something? 
Like that guy from Big Trouble in Little China. You know what I'm talking about? Where he goes like... We do not fight Delirium yet. Great movie. Confirmed. And absolutely true. Based and Russell Pilled. Mega Satan exists. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? That's beautiful. Where's my demon heart? Rotten baby. Book of Sin. The Book of Sin is long and boring. And full of pills with bad effects. Okay, you hit me. Congrats. So what? I don't need HP. It disappoints me. Yo, it's it's Bernie's legislation from the top rope. He's freezing everything. He's freezing rents. He's freezing interest payments. He's he's freezing his you know what off in that hotel room in his freaking huge bed. I mean, come on, man. 60 degrees? <laughs> I like a punchline that makes itself. I'm... Okay, I mean, there's not much you can do there because the attack is undodgeable. I guess I'll just use Guppy's paw. I guess if nobody wants this random hot dog car, I'll take it. Random... How much is 60 in real temperature? It's like 15. It's not cold for the outside. It's pretty cold for the inside. Like if you went outside and you had the sun shining on you and it was 15 degrees, you would be like, this is pleasant. You know, I might wear long sleeves, but still. But if you were like in bed, in like your underwear or something, you would be like, can I have a blanket or something? Okay, so like, I'm. let me guess, the Emperor card as a joke uh, kills you. When you use it here. Why would it? Wait, is this, what Emperor? That's normal, oh, you're right, it's not Tainted Emperor, I just have Tarot Cloth. Some, okay, now I do not. Now I have hero font. Jokes on you. Shovel. Wait, you can actually use the shovel here. You have card doublicity. <laughs> you can use it to unlock the forgotten. Yo, this runs pretty good. Poggy, I've been trying to unlock that guy for like four years. Owns, owns. Those bombs are actually extremely sick. Oh, we have we have uh, more options? Question mark. I think. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Uh, take twelve of these and call me in the morning. I legit just unlocked it a week ago. Oh, that one points to the forgotten. <laughs> I got him a week ago. Yeah, I was at her boyfriend's funeral. Dude died in a hang gliding accident. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, I'm hang gliding, I'm hang gliding, I'm hang gliding. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. What an idiot. Ma! The meatloaf. I never know what she's doing. That's from, uh, Wedding Crashers. That's from the Wedding Crashers. Little movie you might be familiar with. It was the highest grossing, uh, 
R-rated comedy until The Hangover blew all our minds in 2009. Speaking of blowing your minds, you see that dodge? Isn't it Deadpool? Well, Deadpool came out after The Hangover. It blew our minds in 2016, probably. I watched my VHS copy of that movie when we had our kid. When I was a kid. Excuse me. Um, hold on, we're going to go fight Mega Satan? I was thinking, you know, I was trying to think. If you grew... I was going to formulate a tweet. If you grew up... In the mid-2000s, these were the only three things in your house. And it was going to be the DVD of The Matrix, the DVD of Gladiator, and the DVD of Office Space. I don't think... I, I, Mouth's not here to, uh, to back me up. But I don't think I know anybody my age that didn't own at least two of those three DVDs. And you might be saying, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, I don't know you. L-O-T-R box set as well. Gladiator was like the movie. I remember like my uncle got a Dolby 5.1 surround sound set up in his home theater. And he was like, you gotta check this out. And he just played like the opening uh, scene from gladiator where like the arrows are whipping around you and you're like it sounds like the arrows are like right there yo Aquilius from Jaff thank you thanks for the gifted subscriptions appreciate it saving private Ryan as well you know what there's, there's a case to be made there gladiator's a good movie I know it's it's not that well respected anymore um but that lady does get chopped in half by the freaking by the chariot, dude. That that was like you watch that in history class, you're like, oh shit. We're not in middle school anymore. Still pog? I don't know. People they were telling me they were they're like anti gladiator now. The the gladi they put out a hit piece on gladiator. I think maybe a hit piece is not the right way to describe it, but I think people are like, it shouldn't have won Best Picture in, in 2000 or 2001. Isn't that what happened to Forrest Gump? We don't talk about Forrest Gump. Well, this would be a terrible way to go. If, if we just die due to Damocles, like... <laughs> Is it like a 4% chance to kill you? <laughs> oh, you don't have to use it. You're fine. Oh, okay. What's up with these rock tears, man? I was rocking. You ever see that movie with Dwight Schrute? Where he's the rocker? The movie's called The Rocker. We don't talk about that movie? It's from that era, man, where, like, we thought maybe, like, everybody from The Office was going to become, like, a genuine Hollywood celebrity. And then they're like, nah, just Steve Carell. And Craig Robinson, I guess, now that I think about it. Jim? I, uh, I guess so. I mean, he's, he's Tom Clancy now, right? What am I thinking? What am I, what am I? Ooh, I'm uh, the greatest. He's, there's no way, he, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything. I would be surprised if he shows up in A Quiet Place too. He might show up in the director's chair. If I saw him on the screen, I would probably be like, what gives? 
because I remember in the movie when he goes, ah! Found, found myself screaming in a hotel room. What is this run? I don't, I don't shoot tears anymore. I had Isaac's heart. <laughs> I had Ludo! I mean, it was still a good run. Can we do the slash marker? Good run. Still